Hi everyone. So hopefully this is just red and orange group that um, guys that are listening to this lesson. Um, today we're going to have a look at time and convert it between different units of time. So when we talk about time, we talk about it in analogue form, which is like this, which quite often you might have um, on your bedside table as an alarm clock. You might have it in the kitchen. Um, and then we also talk about digital time. Now, digital time, as some of you are aware, is what time you might see on your mobile phone or on an alarm clock next to the side of your bed and so on. So it's really important that we can um, convert between the two, okay? So we're gonna have a look today at converting between analog to digital time. Now, when we talk about digital time, um, we talk about it and it would look, I'll just write an example. Um, it would look, for example, like this, okay? So that's the difference, that's analog and that's digital, okay? So I have drawn um, an analog clock up here. Now some of you would hopefully be able to look at that clock and tell me exactly what time it is and the same with these two. But for those children who aren't 100% sure, we're just gonna have a little bit of a recap on how to do this. So the blue hand um, is the small hand and that's the hours. And then we've got a larger hand here, which is the minutes, and that's done in brown, okay? And then those colours relate to the numbers around the outside of the face of the clock as well. So you can see that around the outside, we've got the minutes because that's in brown. And then on the inside, we've got the hours, okay? And that's what you would see on your clock. You wouldn't see these minutes. You just expected to know them really, okay? So when we talk about converting this into um, digital like this, we have to have it so that our hours come first on our clock. So we have two numbers, which is our hours. Then we have dot, dot, and then we have our minutes, okay? So for this one, the blue arrow, the hours, is pointing to the number three. So I would just write the number three, okay? However, as we've talked about in the past, you have to have two numbers there. So we have it as 03, okay? Once we get to number 10, 11 and 12, we wouldn't need that because it's already got two digits, okay? And then we've got our minutes, which are in brown, as you can see. And our brown hand is actually pointing up to zero because it's o'clock, okay? And we did this earlier this year. So you can see there that it is three o'clock. Now, if you remember, that tells me that it's in the morning. And we know that it's in the morning because this number is less than 12. If it was three o'clock in the afternoon, then it would be 12 more hours because as we know, there are 24 hours in a day. So there's two lots of 12. So it goes all the way round um twice okay from 12 to 12 and then to 12 again so to do this as we've done in the past we know that we need to add 12 hours our minutes though they do not change they stay exactly the same okay so this is a.m and this is p.m okay so it's called 24 hour time which we've done in the past so let's have a look at this one and if I needed to say to this one, right, what time is it in digital time, please? And this time it's in the morning, okay? So you need to have a look, right? The blue hand is my hours, so that comes first. And the brown hand is my minutes, so it comes second. Don't forget the blue hand points to the number. And you can see that it's part way between 12 and 1. Don't forget it's whichever number it's gone past. So has it gone past one yet? No, it's gone past 12. So because it's gone past 12, we have the number 12 here. And then what goes here? Well, it's the brown one. Is it seven? Good, no, it's not. It points to my brown numbers, which is 35 minutes. And if we were to count round in our fives, Five lots of seven is 35. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So it is 1235. Can you guys now pause the video and have a go please at this one here, okay? Don't get it mixed up with that. 
So have a go at this one. Okay, hopefully you have paused the video and you've been able to have a go at this. Now, some of you might have noticed that I've taken away the minute um, numbers and that's just because in your at work today you don't have those minutes okay um, but they're here on the video so if you do need to refresh your memory look back at the video and look at these clocks and that will help you so you can see that my small hand the blue hand the hours has gone all the way around here and then it's gone to 10 and it's just gone past 10 so it is 10 and then what's my minute hand pointing to? If you've put three there, don't forget, it's minutes, not hours. So if we started here at zero, it would be five, 10, 15. So well done if you have got 10, 15 there. Now who can tell me how we would say that in words? What would we say? Well, we would say 15 minutes past 10 or Remember, if we were to look at it in quarters, it's a quarter past 10. So well done if you've got that right. What you guys are going to do today is exactly the same as this, converting from analogue to digital, okay? And then as a little bit of a challenge, converting from digital back to analogue. If it helps you, colour code it, because that's what always really helps me, okay? Um, good luck, and I look forward to seeing how you get on today, red and orange group.